Hi, Brent Hall, Bill Cho. Um, I walk by this, this path every day when I ever come to North Bennett Street. I'm on the board here. Um, I love coming here and visiting, and I walk by this little building. Now, the first time I walked by it, I was like, whoa, what in the world is going on with that building? It's so cute, right, this, this thing here. And what I come to find out is there's, there's a lot of history here. So basically, the Sumner Tunnel, the original tunnel that went out to Logan Airport, Sumner Tunnel right here, okay, and there was these uh, uh, toll booth stands, right? There was like four of them, and you'll see an historic picture here in just a sec. Um, this was a remnant left over from that as times changed, but think about it's 1930 and we're building a public works building. What does it look like, right? Well, first of all, you wouldn't think of a public works building in this day and age, in the 2019-20 where we are, having this level of craftsmanship and detail. In fact, there's many houses that don't have this kind of level of craftsmanship and detail. And so I love looking at the past to get inspiration and details about what's going on. Now, there's a couple things I want you to recognize and notice among these things, and one is the brick arches, okay? Now, brick arch is a functional element that's meant to hold up the brick above it, and so it actually works to support the brick above it. I also want you to notice the scale and proportion of this building, right? It is 96 square feet, essentially. It's about 12 feet long, about 80 feet wide, and yet you have these architectural details like these windows and doors and brick arches, coining and other details in here that make it really special, really complex, really, this isn't something that just goes together really quick. The, uh, um, all the details on this thing have to be scaled down. Now, let me show you a few. Now, so this is made in, um, you know, 1930, right? You're, what you're looking at is those are rust marks on the door. This is a galvanized steel door, right? So it was built to last, built to be in these environments, but notice the scale on this thing. Okay, I would hit my shoulders if I walked through there, right? So we're talking about 18 inch door, 20 inch door. Why did they make it so small? Well, because of beauty, right? Because of the scale of this thing. If they put a three foot wide door in there, it screws up the whole look of this thing, right? And so we've got a galvanized steel door. Notice that the galvanized steel has a two panel construction below, right? It's a raised panel door, all made in galvanized metal, divided light window, a transom arch, right? Even the window beside it is a double hung, double hung galvanized window, right? So we're looking at a window that actually operates up and down, right? Meant to mimic and look like a wood window, but it actually is galvanized steel, right? Then I want you to notice the brick arch. Now the brick arch is, um, and, I, and another thing I just noticed is that the scale of these bricks is a little bit different. That's only about a six inch brick. Okay, typically your bricks are two, four, eight, right? That's a modular brick. Two inches by four inches by eight inches. This brick is like one and a half by three by six, okay? So it's still modular, but it's been reduced in size so it doesn't look too big. All the details and elements of this building have been worked out beautifully. So the brick arch, okay? Now a gauged brick arch is a brick arch that um, has gauge brick. Now gauge brick is basically a brick that's been shaped and sized so that it works in an opening like this and it was supported a bunch of brick above. You'll see in the historic picture that the height of these things were actually much taller because they allowed cars to drive through and trucks to drive through so the ceiling on this is much raised. It's been lowered when it was brought back here. But that brick arch, look how small these pieces of brick are. Right? That's like an inch and three quarter by you know, three inches, maybe at the most, two and three quarter, and it's shaped. And all those shapes work together to create this beautiful arch. Notice too how these arches and these bricks tie into the brick coursing, okay? So that the brick coursing ties in with that brick arch and, and is woven together beautifully, right? All these great details, and this is all that about that, they don't make them like they used to, that you've got this building that is just cute as a button, Beautifully constructed, beautifully crafted, right? Well scaled, well proportioned, all right here. And I walk by it, every time I come to Boston, I just fall in love with it. So come get your selfie here. This is a great building. Follow me on Instagram, Hull Millwork, Hull Homes. Thanks for watching.